I, I, I put him on that tier at, at least with Snorlax and Y Bomb. I think he beat Snorlax at uh, SSC a couple of years ago. Either that or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, 2016. If I'm not mistaken, I think Clubba beat Snorlax. Um, uh, somebody will will correct me, but I won't be able to see Someone it. Someone will correct. Um, yeah, I think those guys are very similarly skilled, and they have a very similar uh, style, similar strengths, and it makes them very threatening. Uh, Manrush has done pretty well against Pikas. Um, Snorlax getting the getting the first strike in chance time. Oh, Manrush over pursuing there. Um, you don't really need to dash that far to get the grab there. Yo, Snorlax loves skimping. Oh yeah, loves grabbing and he loves. That's skimping. what I'm. That's what I'm talking about, dude. He uh, he loves the R button. He'll, as he'll say. Mad rush forward air, up air, up B. Standard. He waited too long. Yeah. He really had it too. Um, I don't know what took him so long to press the button. <laughs> and Snorlax, really commanding start here. And you have to know as a Falcon player, you can't challenge that Pika up air at the ledge. It's so tempting to down air there. But uh, if Pika has the ledge, you're better off really fighting him on the stage. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, as far as recovery is concerned, you should just let the other guy get the ledge and then deny him the stage, because it's so much easier than. I, I want to say the stage. other way around for Falcon versus Pika, though. I think you want to keep him from getting the ledge, but once he has the ledge, you want to let him on the stage. Um, you don't want to give him like full stage control, but you don't want to like be jumping out above the ledge, throwing downers and stuff. Yeah, certainly uh, not that. Yeah, you want to you want to be in a position to punish him getting onto the stage and ledge hopping onto the side plat. Yeah, yeah, that I that I strongly agree with. Um, yes. Up air, um, I think Pika is Pika is definitely the strongest character on the ledge because his up air pokes through the stage. There's pretty much yeah. there's pretty much nothing to do about that. But once he's on the stage, he's honestly easier to deal with. Falcon has great neutral against Pika on the stage. Yeah. He has Jack against Pika on the ledge. In general, actually, Falcon struggles against a lot of people on the, on the, on the edge. Uh, I, I think he's great against uh, most floaties that are on the ledge. Uh, Mario, Luigi, Samus, even Puff. If you, he can get the ledge, yeah. yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying when they have the ledge. Yeah. Because uh, Mar the Mario Bros, Samus, Puff, um, you can read their ledge hops with an S smash. They don't have quick vertical movement, so you just uh, pivot back S smash. Okay, I have personally not found much success with that. Really? Right. Yeah, I always find it really hard to do anything against even floaties. Uh, as Falcon, as when Falcon they have the ledge. ledge. Yeah. Maybe we can try next time. I could be wrong, but we can give I, it a go. Yeah. Let's play later. All right, so Snorlax cleans that one up. Uh, I believe he SD'd his last stock. Tied up, tied up at two apiece. Mad Rush gets that dash grab. Thought he would have down aired, but Snorlax had really good DI there, so it's good he went for that there. Interesting. No coverage on the ledge. Goes for another up smash. And an up B there would have uh, definitely ended that stock. He was a little impatient. Okay, Snorlax not quick enough to get that up B or maybe a shield drop or something. And Mad Rush. Takes it down two to one. Good forward air from Snorlax. Not able to finish forward air, up air. Matters <laughs> not doing anything. Uh, All the good scary. reverse. And he makes it back down air. He could have maybe ledge hop down air. Let's see. Oh, and Ooh. barely gets that ledge. I think if Snorlax could have uh, angled it slightly downward, that's tricky, though. Yeah. You want to either go over the stage or angle it a little more downward. Snorlax actually did a couple of weird edge things at the end of that game. Yeah. He went really low unnecessarily when he could, like, jump up air. He just went for a flat up air or something. Right. It's interesting to see some of these sets where, you know, someone convincingly wins game one and then game two goes the other way, you know. Right. Uh, that one wasn't, very, you know, convincing, but it's a very good effort from Madrush to keep himself in it. And reverse up air. I don't know if it was there. Uh, maybe he needed to stick hop. I like fastfall in air. 
Dropping into the Pika up tilt. And he somehow... There's no reason to not up air. Yeah. If someone's out of jumps, just smack them a couple of times. It's all right. You don't need the big wombo back air finisher. Just give them a few taps, maybe toss out an air. You don't need anything fancy. Up air. Up air. That was, I want to say wildly unnecessary, but Mad Rush wanted to make sure that that up B would kill. And he's up 4-2 to two on Snorlax. Good up air. Uh, he's going to F smash. Mad Rush not able to get the DI necessary, not in a position to weave backwards. That was a fairly decent F smash, if I do say so. No, you can't, <laughs> you can't up smash Pika shielding. Anyone shielding on the side like that is just... Uh, Snorlax making sure that uh, his offstage shenanigans don't get punished. He's putting himself in a decent position. Oh, wow. Manish is going for some really interesting stuff here. He didn't get punished for any of it. Uh, could have seen a down air tech chase there. Uh, he didn't want to do like do anything that would give Snorlax back to the stage. Good down air and an up air or an air would work there. That was an interesting DI. Oh, oh and Nadra steals he, the ledge. He snagged it. Slick. He's a ledge burglar. Snorlax. Uh, See, I feel like now Snorlax feels alive. That woke him up. <laughs> yeah, some people get more woken up by getting wrecked than uh, you know, something. Something they need like that. That punch in the face. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Some people rise to the challenge. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, so we're down one stock apiece, as it should be. Game three. Matterish, oh, catches him as he loses his shield, gets the down air. That was risky. Woo. Can't expect Pika to go into that. Pika's know how to use their up B now. It's not, it's not 2012. And the double grab, this could be it. Gets the down air, and Woo. no S smash. He didn't watch G5 at all. Nice forward air, up air it was unnecessary and put Snorlax in a better spot. And he calls him out with the down air. Excellent finish. Madras takes it two to one. Snorlax, his struggles against.